Estime from the goal line tries to bounce it, can't get there. He'll be tackled behind the line, a two-yard loss. Two-yard loss. Two -yard ball out. Yeah, he, he gets in there again. He's also not only great at rushing the quarterback, also very good at defending the run. You know Blackman to throw for the first time in the game, but he has to just throw it low. May not have even made it back to the line of scrimmage because of the pressure by JT Tui Bolowau. Now watch this, Ohio State showing pressure up here on the line of scrimmage. They're just gonna go with the four-man rush. Arkansas State is thinking we're getting pressure, it's third and seven. They throw a screen, Ohio State did a really good job of being able to bottle that up. And this is- Big push back, low snap. Blackman handoff to Bolowau. Oh, just gobbles up Marcel Murray, goodness. Yeah, I mean, you see this front again, it's, it's crazy. Just the amount of penetration, the amount of chaos you can cause up there. You let one of your best players in Tui Molawau be able to jump underneath an offensive guard, knife in there, and make a play. And then, after a pretty outstanding start for him, the handoff is to Micah Kelly, and he stopped. More on the edge. Burks on the run, checks it down, bobbled and caught. And it's Allen wrestled down immediately, gained just a yard. Mertz picks himself up off the, the carpet there. Tuimolo I got him. Tuimolo off to the left. Look at that spin move. I mean, there are high expectations for 44. That play right there shows you why. He's long, he's athletic, big, and powerful. Got Graham, got uh, Graham Mertz off his spot and put Wisconsin in another third down. In You're in some sort of man coverage. Padilla. Ends. Here's Clifford underneath that ball knocked around. Looks like it's plucked out of the air and intercepted by Zach Harrison. Deflected by Tui Molowa. And Sean Clifford has turned it over on their first series. Well, what you're going to get here is a free rusher. Why is that? Because they're trying to run a screen to that left side, so they're not blocking JT Tuimolo out. He comes in, bats that ball up, and there's Harrison with the present, and he's able to get it. Here's a great look from the ump cam. Harrison tips it to himself. The big man, 6'6", 272, creates the turnover. And now, another turnover. This is exactly what the Buckeyes did a week ago, Gus, against a very poor Iowa team. Team, offensively at least Clifford underneath and another interception to Imolau two series two interceptions for Ohio State Jim Knowles and his defense starting to play huge dividends and the Buckeyes are back in business JT to Imolau Grabs it out of the air. And Ohio State forces yet another turnover. Second down and seven. Singleton the deep man. They'll give it to him. And Singleton plowing forward. They get to the 21 on the play. A one-yard gain to Imolawa defensively. Play fake. Clifford in trouble and sack. Great pressure. Guess who? JT Tuimola. And he's been everywhere today. They're trying to bring the tight end across in order to block Tuimolo out. But he just runs right past him. Good aggressive pass rush, and he's able to get into the backfield right away against Sean Clifford. That was one of those little bootlegs they were trying to get him outside of the pocket, but the rush from Tuimolo out was just too far afield. And Clifford in those obvious passing situations. Second and four for Clifford. He'll pass it. Lost it. Lose ball. a ball he's intercepted a ball he's had a sack and now look at this that's your big 10 player of the week without a doubt i mean this is just a great rush working against bryce eppner who's the backup at tackle had to play for an injured caden wallace and to him allow just takes him right in the lap of the quarterback and then goes after the ball swats it away from sean clifford and is right there for the recovery this guy today jt to has come of age he has turned into 
or from just a talented player and a great recruit to a game wrecker, a guy they can rely on that is instigating right now what is the comeback for Penn State and now another short field for their offense. Just like this, but it was the defense that led the way. JT. What a day. JT Tuimolo, I have written down right on my, my sheet right here, Gus. I said, this guy's too talented, and the numbers will eventually show up, and we're seeing him dominate here today. That talent is showing up. The sacks, the pressure, the ability to get to the football, create havoc and create turnovers. This dude is turning into a great pass rusher right before our eyes in this ball game. The Rock on turns. First down and 10 of the 19. And intercepted. Wow! Tui Moloau again! Unbelievable! JT Tui Moloau has had the game of his life. People one overall prospect in the country by and the Buckeyes landed a jewel. Well, here he is. Watch, he's just going to work on the outside, and then he's being blocked. And while he's being blocked, he sees that a throw is coming and jumps simultaneously. And you talk that's about that's unreal. And you've been talking about the Ohio State Avalanche. That's right. You're from Colorado, so you used to avalanches. How about this? Four touchdowns in a span of six minutes. Sullivan throws back. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Tuli Molowau again, reminiscent of last week. And with the job he did last week catching those passes, the ridiculous hand-eye coordination and quick reflexes, you're almost surprised he didn't catch this one, too. Yeah, you can't back up if you're the tackle. You've got to go get him. The right tackle that time, Caleb Ternan, he just kind of backed up and allowed that athleticism to show. You've got to go get him and not let him get those hands up around the football. Outside of their locker room on the bike. Here's Hull. And he's dumped by JT Tui Molowau for a gain of just one. Sullivan. Will he throw it? He pulls it down and gets back close to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Brendan Sullivan, the ball carrier. JT Tui Molowau made the play, but Porter trying to bounce outside and nowhere to go. Tuli Molowau again there for Ohio State. Dumped it for about a three-yard loss. We showed you the plays he made last week. Just an amazing play, but this is a great play against run. Stands up the right tackle with one arm, makes the tackle with the other arm. He's unbelievable. He's a sophomore. He was one of the most highly recruited guys in the country out of Seattle. And he's played great all, all year. But Just a dominant performance from JT in that game and it was really in situations just like this Gus obvious passing situation his ability to rush the passer he's explosive he's got great instincts third down and six of the 29 Bayslack looking for the first down decides to run it and will be lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage nothing there Vincent with the tackle in the middle and Indiana will have to send it away once again. Well, Teron Vincent is going to clean this up, and JT, he had a nice little rush on the outside as well. This is the rush he's going to come back under, and then he forces him right to Vincent, and Tui Molo'au and Teron Vincent are there. Teron Vincent was so highly recruited. Come Here's Talia, 45 seconds before halftime, and he is sacked, and it is JT Tui Molo'au. One of the most promising big-time NFL prospects in all of college football. When he is on off the edge, he is devastating. Yeah. They bring it or back off. Here they come, straight after him, backing him up, and he just desperately had to throw it away as Steel Chambers was all over Talia Tungavailoa. Well, the old hey diddle diddle three up the middle blitz. It's going to overload every single protection. You get double A gap, and then you get the add-on on the back end. That's Ronnie Hickman, who's following up. They don't pick it up initially, as you can see Tui Molo'au also coming around the edge. For Michigan, and Edwards chopped down. Wow, nicely done. Tui Molo'au. That's a loss of one. JT Tui Molo'au had the game of his life against Penn State. No, oh, did he ever. My goodness, he had, well, he batted a ball down that led to an interception. He had two interceptions himself. One of them he took back to the house. What, he have three sacks in that game? 
This guy was a one-man wrecking crew late in that game against the Nittany Lions, and that's one of the marquee wins that this Buckeye team has. Edwards again, and Edwards grabbed in the backfield. He'll be tackled for a loss. Guess who? JT Tuimoloa. It's Molo, like Rolo, folks. That's how they tell us to pronounce it. Well, he's been playing terrific so far.